Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips have a brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Take a go out there, see, see if things came out there, see if things are on sale. Today though, new release wise, it's actually a really, really, really big release. It's actually one of the bigger release weeks in a really long time. Now the one thing I want to let you guys know that came out today, which I'm really excited to let you guys know is available now. Finally, you guys can get the film that I directed, Woodswitch, is available on DVD today. You guys can get this one on Amazon. It will be available in some stores. I feel like places like Zia Records, if you guys have that, I know uh, I always go to that one in Vegas. They have two locations. I've seen some of them, the SRS releases put there, you know, released in Zia in the past. So if you guys go to any like small specialty stores or anything like that and see it available in store, definitely send me a picture and I can include it, you know, at the end of like future shopping videos and stuff like that. But like I said, definitely tag me in pictures and stuff like that if you guys do see it. Also, I want to let you guys know I am going to be having a giveaway. Uh, for the film as well. So what, the way that only you know the way to enter for the giveaway is make sure you're following me on Instagram, and I'm going to put up the post you know promoting this shopping video on Instagram. And all you have to do is uh, you know enter you know right underneath of that post say you'd like to win a copy. You guys just have to be you know in the uh, U.S. and it will be a signed copy of the film, which I will send out to you uh, as well. So like I said. Just make sure you're following me on Instagram and you guys can enter to win a copy of Woods Witch on uh, DVD. Now today though, new release wise, like I was saying, it's a huge release week. Uh, of today though, uh, The Abyss is coming out on 4K for the first time. It's also Blu-ray for the first time. Uh, Aliens is coming out on 4K for the first time. True Lies is finally coming to physical media you know, in the uh, Blu-ray 4K combo. Uh, Poor Things is coming out today. Uh, Aquaman, the newest Aquaman movie, Wish, that's coming out. That's going to have a Walmart exclusive steelbook, Ferrari, as well as The Color Purple, the uh, Color Purple remake. So it is a very, very big uh, release week. And the other thing I want to let you guys know as well, uh, the film that I'm directing coming up, Skate to Hell, we have a really special way that you guys can get involved and actually have an acting role uh, in the film, which is a film from home part that you guys can do, which is going to be a video reaction role in the film. It's a $50 video reaction part. Now, you guys can get that right on the link below in this video. I'm also going to have it in the pinned comments. You guys can get exclusively from that link. Basically, though, there's going to be two places in the film where there's going to be video reactions. The one is going to be when there's going to be a news kind of story talking about a director coming back to directing after a 40-year absence. So it's going to be all these video reactions of people making like faces like that and like excitement, things like that. Also, there's going to be a video reaction uh, during a live stream event in the film. I'm going to put a, a, a still here, too, from Desert Fiend so you guys can kind of see how we had the video reactions in the last film as well. But definitely check out the link below for that as well. It would be awesome to have you guys part of the project. And also, if you guys do the video reaction, you will get IMDb credit. So you will be credited in the movie's IMDb page and the movie's end credits as well for the reaction role. But the, anyway, though, guys, now let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. And you know, we always have to check the $1, $3, and $5 spot here in the front. See whatever's changed out here. Oh yeah, they had these things that were new. They were kind of funny. These little like gnome things that were like laying out like this were kind of funny. And then these snail things. But yeah, there's like I said, there's some funny, interesting things in here. They're all like, like I said, a dollar, three dollar, and five dollar. And some really random, strange things like these little teeny like eraser things and stuff like that, like a whole bunch of little erasers and stuff like that. But we'll check over here though. You know, we always check here where the books are, where the movies used to be. And as always, see the self-checkout still closed, the thing of the past now. It's so rarely open now, it's so strange. Let's see over here. I think somebody's actually over here in, oh, let's see, in the books. I always like to see if I can tell what's new or wasn't here last week. I don't think this was here last Tuesday. I think that might be a new one. And the dead guy next door. That might be a new one, though. And like I was mentioning, guys, too, you guys can check out the link below and you guys for the Indiegogo, and you guys can find out how to do the $50 video reaction to appear in uh, Skate to Hell. And it would be awesome to have you guys involved with this one. Like I was mentioning, you guys can find out all about that in the link below. But, yeah, nothing else new here I'm noticing. But let's go over the section, though, and see, because there should be a bunch of stuff changed out over there today. But we shall see. We shall see.
Well, guys, look, it's all the same stuff in the last couple weeks. They didn't change out anything, which I cannot believe because, like, today was, like, a really huge release week, you know, of things changing out. And not a thing, nothing whatsoever changed at all in here. Let's take a look down here, though, and see, as you guys can see, the clips still no more of the, the big ones. Those are all gone, the Bigfoot ones. Yeah, in here, though, in the toy section, though, I actually see something new for the Ninja Turtles today. These are kind of interesting. They're, like, these weird, like, gooey things. They're, like, you. I guess you, like, take them pour this weird stuff in it or something and you have these like mystery figures in here they're kind of cool I, I i wouldn't put the ooze stuff in it because that would be a disastrous mess but they're kind of cool they have you know a few of them left you don't see these kind of ones left i noticed like a lot of times these like mystery ones always go so fast but such a pain though in the actual section there's nothing new out movie wise i really would have thought today they would have switched stuff out with all the stuff that was changing and stuff but i will look at one other target though and hopefully that one will have changed the things out though but i think i'm going to get one of these mystery things though yeah but i ended up getting that uh turtles one in there the mystery one but like i said i'm not gonna mess with the goo and get it all over the place and is that that stuff is definitely a disastrous mess though but hopefully you know walmart will have this stuff out we shall see though because like i said there's a lot of stuff today well, into Walmart we go, and fingers crossed, hopefully they have out the stuff now. We shall see. This one usually does, but we shall see, because it's definitely the week to have releases out. Let's see how things are looking Easter-wise over here, too. There's some, like, Disney squish over here that they put. Let's see anything new or different in the Easter section. Let's see. I, I always notice these sections, though, you always kind of like, here and there, they're always kind of adding stuff. These things to me are so funny to see these again because I remember like as a little kid, you know, used to love these things where you like scratch the image into these. Like, I don't know what it was. I love these things. And it's so weird to see those things, how they kind of went away for a long time. You didn't see them much. And now they're all coming back again, just like these things are kind of big again too. These things when they like iron them, I used to like those as a kid. And you're seeing all these different things of them now. So kind of funny though. Not seeing anything though really different in here. Pretty much all the same stuff we've shown. This is all the peep stuff in here. So yeah, seems to be for the most part the same things over here. But we're gonna head over to the section though. And you know, fingers crossed. Look how many of these they have here. But fingers crossed. So hopefully they will have out the new movies. But we we shall see though. All right, I have not peeked yet, guys. So I have no idea if they have anything over here or not. There's lots. Of, there's lots of stocking going on. But let's see. All right, like I said, I have not looked at all. I have no idea yet. I have not seen the good or bad news. I'm sort, of, I'm sort of seeing some stuff now. Oh no, look guys, it's all the same stuff. Like nothing today. You know, the Steelbooks too, They, I don't see anything new here. I did actually, was lucky enough to find it at a random Walmart a couple days ago. I did find the VHS Steelbook, but crazy. They don't have anything changed out today at all. There's a thing for color purple. Nothing changed out. In here, though, you know, nothing new in there. It's all the same stuff from last week. Just crazy. Like, I definitely thought today would have, you know, been a switched out day. But nope, not at all. Just all the same stuff. Crazy. Into the second Walmart we go. And hopefully this one will have some of the stuff put out today. Like, because like I said, it's such a huge release week. It's like, why has nothing been stocked? You know, especially because last week there wasn't anything. Because of this, you know, every other week new releases. So we shall see. Hopefully something is out in here today. Because I don't know if I'm going to get to any other Walmarts. But we shall see. Well, luckily enough in here, this location has everything out. You see this thing here for Aquaman. And you see all the stuff here. Aquaman, the 4K here for $29.96. The Blu-ray $29.96. $24.96, the DVD $19.96. Then they have this two film collection here for $24.96 and color purple $17.96 for the DVD. The Blu-ray here is $22.96. Uh, Anyone But You, they have, that was one of the ones I forgot that came out today. That one is $19.96 for the DVD, $22.96 here for the Blu-ray. And then for Wish, they do have the Walmart exclusive available for $34.96 here uh, for that one. And then it's uh, for the Blu-ray, it's $24.96. DVD is $19.96. And then other than that, let me make sure there's nothing else like mixed in over here. Oh yeah, I did see too, and I already got it already though. They did have the VHS collection here, the, all the movies together, the Steelbook here. Uh, they have the Winnie the Pooh one. That's a harder one to get as well. The Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey one. Uh, the Hollow Man one. This is the one I'm kind of thinking about getting, the Children of the Corn 4K one. I might end up getting this one. Other than that, though, in the actual section over here, though, doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, yeah, see? There's a few things missing. Poor things. 
ISS. Those are the ones they don't have out today. You know, and then Rick and Morty, that was one of the other ones that came out today. But at least they have out most of the stuff. No poor things out, though. But yeah, though, in there, I ended up getting that Churn of the Corn 4K. And I already had that um, Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey one. I got that one when that first came out, like a couple months back, like a month or two back. I think it's been a while yet, I think. But I got that already, though. And like I mentioned, I found the VHS Steelbook a couple days ago at a different Walmart. So I, if I didn't, I would have been getting that today. I, I didn't get the last time I saw when I got that VHS one, the Creep Show one. I'm kind of like, man, I think I should have gotten that one, the Creep Show uh, 4K one, though. But at least I was I've been able to find these ones. Let me know though if you guys have found any of the steelbooks that you're looking for for the Walmart exclusive ones. But now I'm gonna head to another Target, and we'll see. Fingers crossed. Hopefully this one decided to put out the movies, but we shall see. Into the second Target we go. Fingers crossed, guys. Hopefully this location has some stuff changed out. We shall see. This one's always kind of hit or miss, but we shall see. Like I said, there's so much stuff to be out today that we'll see if this one decided to update it. At least the last one we went to had stuff changed out because I was worried we weren't going to see anything today. Well, guys, all the exact same stuff. Nothing changed out whatsoever, though. So, yes, all the same thing. Anyway, though, guys, that was all for my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Let me know, though, in the comments below, though, if you guys ended up going out, if Target, if your Target location ended up switching out the movies, because today really should have been a lot of stuff, so I feel like there should have been some things out in there today, but alas, nothing whatsoever, <laughs> and I don't want to go to a million locations and stuff like that. Hopefully, by next Tuesday, though, this stuff should all be out. I am wondering, though, if, like, the James Cameron ones were sold in there, though. That's the ones I feel like they might have had, at least, you know, um... I feel like they probably would have. I don't know for sure, though, because they didn't have anything, <laughs> anything, though. But also, though, um, like I was mentioning, too, definitely uh, go over to my um, Instagram page as well. You guys can enter the contest to win a copy of Woods Witch on DVD. Uh, and then also, too, definitely check out the link below, and you guys can find out how to do the $50 video reaction to appear in my new film, uh, Skate to Hell. It would be so awesome to have you guys involved in that way. And you guys can also uh, check the Indiegogo. And there's lots of other ways you guys can help, like pre-ordering the movie on DVD or Blu-ray, uh, the special thanks credits on the film uh, as well. The one thing I want to sh let you guys know that's so cool today as well, I knew, had, knew nothing about this. And then people have been letting me know that a magazine called Starburst Magazine, on the cover, they put the one mutant character, the mutant from Desert Fiends, is on the cover with all these other iconic horror characters. And I can't believe... The D-Head Mutant has made its way onto this cover, and it, to me, was the most surreal thing I've ever seen. I'm going to show you guys an image of the cover here, and you guys can see who's on the cover. It just, like, to me, was like, whoa. I, I couldn't even, like, I can't even believe it. Like, it was just very surreal. So thank you, Starburst Magazine, for, you know you know, giving like Desert Fiend such a praise before it's even out yet. So I appreciate that in, in, in so many ways. So thank you so much. And like I said, guys, I, I, these movies only exist because of you guys and all the support. So I, I really appreciate all the support so much and definitely hope you guys can get involved with the um, the video reaction on uh, Skate to Hell. But anyway, though, guys, now stay tuned for the brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews. And the first one I got here is from Shot Factory, Scream Factory line. Now, this is one I'm so excited now is available for the first time on 4 k and it's available it includes the 4ks and blu-ray copies of all the films and this is the uh, ring collection here now this is the american you know remake uh series available on blu-ray and this was you know of course the first one that i had seen you know i saw the remake first and then i saw uh the original i remember too when this a remake first came out i remember like something about that film creeped me out so much and i remember like i, I went and like I, I think I saw that in theaters two times, but I remember there's something about it. It was like that movie and then the original Eye. It just really scared me. And that, But then like they made, you know, of course, Scary Movie, you know, uh, making the spoof of it. And then it kind of like, once there were spoofs and stuff, it kind of got a little less scary, I, I think. I will say too, I feel like The Ring definitely had a lot of inspiration from the movie The Changeling, uh, the 80s film. I, you know, I think it was 1980. I feel like it definitely had inspiration with the well aspect. But here's a look though at the, um, the Ring... Uh, 4k 
and then you have rings, uh, you know, ring two, which I thought ring two was okay, but I remember, like, I did not like it that much. It was one of those things where it was like, I thought the first one was so cool. Uh, on the, now, on here, though, it has the new 4K scan of the original camera negative. And that has on here, on the Blu-ray, don't watch this collection of deleted footage on here. Uh, Rings, a uh, short, the film that uncovers terrifying and, and secret connections between the films and its sequel. I think that was a short film that they put, like, online or something back in the day. And then it has on here the Origins uh, featurette with cast and crew interviews and theatrical trailer. Now, on part two, that has on here the 4K scan of the original ne camera negative. On here, a brand new 4K scan. And then it has the, um, and that's of the theatrical cut. And then on the Blu-ray, it has the theatrical and unrated cuts. And then it has the, um, the ring short film, deleted scenes some featurettes, the making of theatrical trailer. And then on the um, rings, this one has on here the brand new uh, 4K master on here, deleted and extended scenes, uh, scary scenes, theatrical trailer on this one here as well. But like I said, these are great films. Really glad to have these available in the hardbound, hard, you know, hard uh, case uh, set here. Now the other one here, this is one I actually, I, I really like this one, I think because of Albie Plaza. I've always been a fan of her. So I kind of like this, I think more because of that. And, like, I kind of liked it, you know, just because it was, like, they, they went in a whole different direction with it and tried to kind of reboot the whole series. And I know it was kind of supposed to continue on. I don't think we're ever going to see any more of this series. Because I think, especially because of the show and everything, but this is, you know, from Scream Factory as well. The 4K Archer HD includes the 4K and the Blu-ray of Child's Play, which, like I said, I really like this one. I really didn't, like, absolutely despise this one or anything like that. I, I feel like it mainly was because of Albert Plaza that I, I liked it more. If she wasn't in it, I went to one of those things where maybe it wouldn't, I wouldn't like it at all. I don't know, though. But I didn't hate it. There, there was some kind of cool kills in here, too. They were done a little bit more, like, I guess, gory than the original films in a weird way. Like, much more over the top and, and kind of goofy in some ways. At least at least that kind of seemed that way to me in some ways with this one. Now on here it has a brand new 4K restoration from the original camera negative on here. It has on here a commentary track on here, uh, you know, with the um, director, the making of on here, uh, some featurettes bringing the film to life, a soundtrack trailer on here, a, a still gallery and a trailer on this one here as well. <coughs> now these ones here... Now, these are ones, especially these first two, that people, you know, would always talk about, like, are these movies ever going to come out? And then there'll always be kind of news, like, oh, yeah, they're going to be releasing. And then something would happen, and they would get kind of delayed. And it was kind of like a, a thing where it would go on like this for years. And it, it actually started like this for the first two movies for uh, Blu-ray. And originally, because these movies have never been out on Blu-ray, so now they're finally debuting on Blu-ray and 4K. So finally... They've gotten the okay to be released and everything. Because like I said, these have been movies. If you guys are collectors and you know about Blu-ray collecting and everything, you know that these are movies that have been, you know, come up for years and years and years. More than you can imagine of why are these not out? How are they not on Blu-ray? Now we're getting them finally. So thank you, James Cameron, for giving, the, you know, the thumbs up for these movies to come out. You know, uh, collectors and everybody I'm, I'm sure now are very finally happy because... You know, the bootlegs are getting chucked. Everyone had, like, if you guys know, these movies were always, you'd see them at conventions, like crappy quality bootlegs and stuff. So finally, don't, you know, don't support any more of that junk. Now you have the real releases out, remastered. And here we have from, you know, from uh, 20th Century Studios here and, you know, from Disney. Uh, we have The Abyss on 4K. And as I mentioned, it has the 4K, the Blu-ray, and the digital uh, code. They wouldn't have just released this one on 4K only because, you know, sometimes they would do that and only have the 4K because it never has been on Blu-ray. So every, this is like for the like for this one, this release where people are excited for both formats for this one. And True Lies. The other one that you have heard about again and again and again, but never, ever, ever having a physical release. You know, the last you know, time these ones have come out were on, you know, a DVD. And what's so funny is I remember so well when The Abyss came out. I remember I was at summer camp and I remember, I think there was like, I went to like a some kind of a field trip to the Inner Harbor or something. We and in the Inner Harbor there was a Sun Coast in the one Galleria Mall back in the day there. And I remember like in there they had the Abyss when it first came out on a DVD, like the real special edition one. I remember buying that there. <laughs> one of those things I always remember, like all the money that I was supposed to use for food. I think I used it all to buy the DVD of it, and I didn't have have any money for the food. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's the kind of stuff I would do. But finally, we're getting these ones on 4K, as well as now on 4K Aliens as well. Like I said, James Cameron, you know, thank you for giving the thumbs up to get these movies out. I'm very thankful for these. A lot of, like I said, a lot of collectors are as well. Now on here, though, let's go over what we have. For The Abyss, we have on disc one, um, the has the 4K with the theatrical cut and the special edition. And then the uh, disc two is the Blu-ray and, and the, that has the theatrical and special edition. And as I mentioned, disc one was the 4K. And then uh, disc three is the features disc, which has a conversation with James Cameron, the, le the legacy of the abyss, under pressure, the making of abyss, archives, stills and videos, including shooting script, original treatment and storyboards and more on this one here. And then on the True Lies, that one uh, on here has Fear is Not an Option, Look Back at True Lies, uh, Ventures, Script Making and Marketing, Dive into the Production Secrets of True Lies with these ex ex um, exclusive behind-the-scenes documents and more on this one here. And then on Aliens, that one we have, this is a three-disc set, and then on, um, the, on the, it has Aliens and the special edition version, the commentary track on here with the director and the cast and crew, and then on disc three, it has the inspiration design of aliens, making of aliens, pre-production, post-production, stills, foot uh, footage, and, and more on this one here. And now the next one here, this is one I, I absolutely love this movie. And I was kind of worried, you know, because sometimes with some of the, the stuff from, you know, Searchlight, they don't always get physical releases like um, the one that I keep hoping at some point that they put out, even if it's like a, a Burn, Burn of the Man down the line theater camp, because I really like that movie. And I know that's like one of the ones that kind of, you know, is like kind of came out with a strike and stuff. So I'm just hoping at some point they just, even if it, like I said, it's a small burn on demand release or something, because Theater Camp was really good and it should have a physical release. Uh, the next one here, though, is Poor Things. So I, I love this movie. If you guys know me, this is my kind of movie. You know, absolutely love this movie so much. The music in here, everything. And it, you know... I'm so glad that Emma Stone won uh, for Best Actress, the Academy Award for this one. I mean, she was incredible in this one. Absolutely incredible. The whole story is basically about Wilm Defoe's character who ends up transporting this brain, you know, of the one woman, uh, her character had died in the beginning and she was pregnant. She took the, the, Wilm Defoe took the brain of the child inside of her and put it into her and brought her back to life. And it's kind of her learning and stuff. It's, it's incredible, just kind of the things that she goes through, and I, I love this movie so much. It's it's one of those movies, though, that's definitely not going to be for everybody. It, it really isn't, and it's like, but you can tell that this is a movie, too, that Jorgis was really inspired by stuff like The Beast, The Cook, The Wife, The Thief, and His Lover, and like all those kind of like you know, those French films of the 70s and stuff. It's just, it's a certain style and stuff. If you, if you know the movies and you know where he has, ins, 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 you know, levels of inspirations and things like that too, you'll like this movie even more so. But I love his films. You know, Killing of Sacred Deer was a great movie as well. This my kind of favorite, like weird, weird movies and stuff. The favorite was really good. Uh, has on here though, Possession, Beauty, The Making of Poor Things. Like to me, it's not really weird though. Like to other people it is, like to me, it's kind of normal, honestly. Uh, Jurgis, um, and has on here the making of on here as well as deleted things on here as well oh yeah and the other one here from um from disney here and this is the they sent the walmart exclusive uh release here and I, it's so i'm so glad that walmart now because best buy you know stopped with the physical releases walmart has really picked up the slack now and they're you know picking things up with steel books and all these exclusives more so than ever so definitely guys you know make sure to go to walmart and support them picking up the physical steel books and things like that there so they you know continue doing it and seeing that people are buying them but it, the good thing is though it looks like they are and it's selling well so I feel like Best Buy is probably like, yeah, what were we thinking? I, I, I hope they think that. I really, really do. You know, and I, I'm sure like all the studios are thinking like that too. Yeah, Best Buy. Smart move. You know what I mean? But the next one here, like I said, yeah, this is from Disney. And this is the Walmart exclusive of the film Wish here, which is an interesting movie. This is like the animation style for this. It's It's kind of done... You know, it's done CGI, you know, the, the classic kind of the, the CGI style that they've done. Well, not classic, but, you know, the way they've done it for years. But what they've done is they made it look kind of like the 1990s sort of hand-drawn animated kind of look that they had then. So it's sort of this mixture of kind of having that hand-drawn vibe a little bit 
and not as much of the highly detailed like CGI computer animated. It's like a little different. It's hard to explain. It just kind of has that look and in some of the um, the textures. I, it is cool too that they now have for the opening music. They've gone back to that kind of old school 90s um, theme that they were having back in the day as well here. Let me show you guys though a look in here for the steelbook. It includes the digital copy uh, as well. But here's a look though at the steelbook uh, for uh, the film uh, Wish here uh, as well. Like I said, though, really glad that Walmart is doing so many exclusives now. And the next one I got here is from Warner Brothers. They sent over a free copy. I just wanted to let you guys know this one was available. And this is the 4K Ultra HD of the film Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. This is the newest Aquaman film, which I actually like this one. I know this is one that kind of had like a, a delay to it and everything. And there was all the stuff, you know, uh, if the one character was going to end up being in it. Of course they were, but there's all this kind of talk about it and everything like that, you know, as well. But I, I actually thought this was a fun movie. I didn't think that it was as strong as the last film, but I like Jason Malma as this character. There is some stuff in this one that goes like so like kind of wacky and over the top a little bit just some, some of the stuff like with him with the microphone and some of it but I, I don't know it's like I feel like like they've kind of gotten like much more wacky with some of these movies and stuff like that so it's gonna be interesting to kind of see what direction they continue to kind of go for the future you know of the um the DC ones and everything on here though this has the Finding the Kingdom featurettes on here Aquaman World Above and Below featurette uh, uh, blood is thicker than water. So a bunch of different featurettes on the film here uh, as well. The other one here uh, from Warner Brothers, they sent over a free copy to let you guys know this one was available. I saw this one in theaters as well. I like this one. This is one though, I definitely was like crying a lot too. Like <laughs> I really was. Um, but this is the um, the color purple. This one has the 4K HD, HD version and the digital code of the film. But like, I don't know, like I, I sometimes purposely don't go to like a lot of like drama movies because I get like, I don't know. I just, I'm, I've always been like that ever since like my girl and everything, like anything that's too sad. It just like, I've realized that. And I remember too, like the worst one for me ever was Requiem for a Dream. I remember like that end of that movie. I know some people I talked about, they're like, Oh, I was all right with it. And I remember too, I even, the one movie that really bothered me was, um, the, um, the one with Anton Yelchin that was um, Alpha Dog. And I remember I even got to talk to one of the actors in it. And I said, that movie, you know, you were in one of the saddest things ever. And he's like, oh, it was, you know, it was okay. Because at the end of the day, we got paid. So we were all happy. So, so I always remember that, like, a funny way to look at it. You're in, like, a real, in really, really sad drama. And his character was, like, behind, like, killing one of the characters. And I was thinking, like, okay, so like that's a funny way to put it. So, you know, it's really depressing and sad, but we got paid, so we were happy. <laughs> so kind of funny. But I really like this one. I think this is a really great remake. I thought the music in here was really good. Now, it has on here, though, feature-wise, it has the Creed in the Color Purple, uh, a bold new take featurette on here. Hell yes, the iconic characters of Color Purple featurette. Uh, uh, in the Flow, Creating the Color Purple's Biggest Musical Moments featurette. And the Story of Me, the Legacy of Color Purple uh, featurette as well on this one. The next one here, this one is from uh, MovieZing.com. I'll have a link below where you guys can order this one for the best price. This is also from Film Hub. This is a movie here called Fang. This is an interesting movie. It's basically, though, about a group of these people that were like, kind of having like hooking up and they were having some drug issues and things like that as one of those kind of things where we're kind of out in this weird like middle of nowhere strange kind of areas anytime you know people out in areas like that you know like things are not going to go well there's going to be some kind of a problem so they're out there with like messing around and stuff and basically it ends up being somebody ends up coming after them and it's kind of one of those things where it's like well they're using things so it's like are they imagining stuff? Could it be something involving this? Or is there something out there? Really some kind of a creature out in the middle of nowhere coming after them and stuff like that. Pretty cool movie here. Like I said, uh, this one here is called Fang. The other one here, uh, this one is from um, Decal. And this one I actually saw in theaters. And this one stars Thomas, uh, Thomas and McKenzie and Anne Hathaway called Aline. And I, I like this one. Is it Ellen or Aline? I think it's I think it's Eileen, I think. And and this one, I, like I said, I actually saw this one in theaters as well. And this is an interesting movie. It's basically, it's one of those ones, so I will say, it's like, it's not as like much happening in it as you would think, though. It's like a little one of those kind of more slow burn. That's why they kind of say more of a Hitchcockian noir. So it definitely has more of that film noir, that postman always uh, rings twice kind of, you know what I'm talking about, that kind of feel to it, but I still liked it. I really did. It could have gone more in some areas, though, but I still did like this movie. It's basically, though, kind of about her character, Thompson McKenzie's working at this prison, and kind of like she's depressed, and she's taking care of her father, who's drinking and all these things, and has all these problems, and basically, <coughs> um, she ends up meeting, um, you know, Anne Hathaway's character working at the prison. It's kind of about 
their friendship and it's kind of like will this turn into something else it's it's an interesting movie though like, like i said that definitely worth checking out though now, the next ones here these are both from kino larber and and this is one that it's funny back in the day as a kid i used to get mixed up and think that it was howard ramus in this movie and i don't know why i thought that <laughs> it was like i was i was really like foolish about that and this is a movie like i said i rented this as a child so many times like i mean and especially because the one actor in here was from nuns on the run which was another movie that i <laughs> would watch like i always have had like a you know like funny thing about nuns especially because of problem child so anytime it was like things with nuns i'd always think it was funny or something i don't know why i always with nuns so anything nun related i always like liked like nun movies and stuff like that <laughs> you know so the actor from nuns on the i guess on the run was in this too so i was always watching it for that reason this is one called brain donors which i think is a really fun movie that you don't really hear about too often and you know uh, dennis dugan directed this one here as well now on here though it has a commentary track with dennis dugan um as well as a commentary with film journalist and a theatrical trailer the other one here this is from kino larber and this is a uh, movie with um burt reynolds in it uh, and liza minnelli called rent a cop and i remember this one back in the day this one came out in 1987 and this is one i don't feel like you hear about too often uh you know on here it has diane warwick is in the movie as well uh james renner you know and remmer, remmer, yeah, remmer he's in the movie a pretty good cast in this one and it has a commentary track on here with film historian lee gavin and uh actor richard maser and as well as a theatrical trailer on this one and the next one here this is such a strange out there movie and i feel like it inspired so many other films just because of the look and the stuff with the ants and these weird kind of structures that they were in when they were kind of researching things out there in the middle of nowhere but it definitely like that movie beyond the black rainbow and a couple others it definitely has have, have you know have had inspiration from this and this is from vinegar syndrome and a movie called phase four and this is available on 4k here they have a version that also has like a slip cover as well for this one on here though this has the uh, 19, uh the 84 minute theatrical version of the film on here on and also has on blu-ray it has the um uh, uh contains the 84 preview version of phase four and then making a phase four a brand new documentary on the film and then some deleted shots on the film raw footage on the movie theatrical trailers Re like i said really great movie one you do not hear about too often and just a very trippy strange movie that definitely has inspired Ari Lester, Ari, you know, lots of directors, I can tell, you know, have definitely had some inspiration from him. Now, the last ones here, too, these ones are both from Mondor Macabro, and this one here is a movie called Death Squad. Now, this one has on here the brand new 4K transfer from the, from the uh, film neg negative here, and then it has on here, interview on here, some brand new interviews, uh, as well as the uh, theatrical trailers for the film. And then uh, the final one here is uh, called Special Silencers, and this one has, um, um, let's see, what does this have on here? Commentary track on here, as well as the original uh, uh, in, um, audio options for the Indonesian or the audio dubbed uh, English version as well for the film. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.